What you doing? Oh, Jake, did you see all these essentials we got in? Yeah. I've got to read them all. So I'm speed reading them. I'm going to have an entire database of every Marvel comic in my head within the next 20 minutes. Now, I know you speed read a lot of things, but you can't possibly be retaining this information. Oh, definitely. I've got it down pat. All right. Um, who is Captain America, Hank? Tell me about him. Uh, Captain America is about a tow truck driver from Indiana who married his cousin named Margaret. You are correct. Knew it! All right. Let's see what's going on with Punish Her. I think this is a living, women's live comic. And rolling. Welcome to the Furry Hat edition of Atlas Weekly. One of the biggest books this week is Neil Adams' return to mainstream comics with Coming of the Superman. It's written and drawn by Neil Adams. If you know him, you know you want it. I'm going to break tradition and start with a graphic novel. Oh wait, it's a Star Wars graphic novel. It's Star Wars Chewbacca. Written by Duggan with art by Phil Noto. It's Chewbacca and a girl who's on a slave planet and he rescues her. Need you know more? The art's really awesome. Good story. My pick of the week is X-Men Worst X-Man Ever. It's written by my boy Max Bemis from the band Say Anything. This book is pretty funny. Um, it's a nice light-hearted X-Men romp, but you don't need to know anything to get into it. Hey, everyone's been asking me, when is Dark Knight 3 issue 3 coming out? Well, it's out. And this one comes complete with, wait for it, keep waiting for it, Green Lantern mini comic. Yay! Ah, uh, John Baramita Jr. Mm -hmm. We've also got super cool Deadpool hats. It may not be super cold yet, but Deadpool just came out. It's awesome. Everyone loves him, and they're super nice and, like, felty on the inside. Thanks to global warming, which definitely exists, we're all going to be living in a tundra for the rest of our lives. So when it's 200 degrees below zero, which will happen any day now, you're going to want this warm hat. Winona Earp. It's a thing. It's a show. It's an older comic. It's a new comic. It's a western. It's supernatural. If you like any of those things, or all those things thrown together, check out Winona Earp from IDW issue one. It's hard to see the issue number because she put her gun over it. That's rude. I'm doing my Michelle impression from Full House. That's rude. In pop news, we've got the Daredevil Netflix pops. We've got Black Suit, Red Suit, and Normal Blind Dude. Snowpiercer was a disturbing movie that kept me awake at night. But this French graphic novel is my speed. It's got gorgeous black and white Art. Would you call that grayscale? Sure, we'll say grayscale. It's a really good book. Oh snap, but there's some color! Oh yeah, there is. Hey, look, it's Mouse. Very muted palette, yeah. though. It's a sequel to the comic Mouse. No, it's not. Very Joking. European. We've also got some other pops. We've got Han Solo and Leia from the new movie, including a Loot Crate exclusive, but we've got one of them of Han Solo in Snow Gear. We've also got the new Deadpool pops, but we've got the yellow and blue version. Get them while they last, they're an exclusive. Not to us, to Amazon, but we have them. You know what they would call it if they made Coke and, and Pepsi and Mountain Dew Pops? What? Pop Pops. Pop Pops. Get the Pop Pops. Hey, go over to nerdhaikureview.com, read, read my reviews, and please follow me at nerdhaikureview. It was popping off the chain last week, if that's what the kids say. Got all kinds of retweets up the wazoos. So please follow me at Nerd Haiku Review for all the goodness. Due to your tragically unhip language, I'm considering demoting you. To what? I, I hardly work anymore. You barely pay me. John Baramita Jr. Mm hmm. You mean JRJR? JRJR. JR. That's how I go. I meant to. He's my boy. Dibs, boy. No, he's been my no, boy for long. He's longer. my boy, Dibs. No, he's been my boy since I was 12. I boyed him. You can't. You, you did not boy no, him. No, you didn't. Go back, go back to your boys led by Zack Ryder. No, that's, he's my. Oh, the eyebrows? Yeah, they're my boys. Um. Do you have to ask people's permissions to become your boy, or you just slap that around? Like, no, he's, he's one of my boys. Does he's he been know one that? of my boys for well over a decade. I don't think he's okay with I've that. I've seen him in concert three times. Oh. If he would play him. anywhere not in 
Norfolk or DC, I would totally do it. Yeah, see, I'm wearing the Say Anything t-shirt. Oh, I thought you were Hoodie, just... Hoodie, I didn't even point that I out. I thought you were just promoting John Hughes movies from I, the mid-90s. I totally thought it was a John Hughes thing. 